But the thing is, one day, sooner or later, we'll get kicked for our authenticity anyway. Walking, walking along your life's road, I suddenly. <laughs> No, it can be appendicitis. Oh, we need to do something because you can blow up and you can die. Have you had sexual contact with someone unknown recently? No? <laughs> do you understand what I'm talking about? Uh, someone third whom you didn't know? No. Okay. You have a tumor. A big and old one. There is no other way but to cut it out together with the organ. Ah, and uh, of course you won't be able to have children ever. I stood there, be still in a state of shock. Thoughts in my mind were completely frozen. Oh, mom, hi. Darling, I'm coming to you. She lives in another town. No, no, mom, please, you don't have to do this. We're fine. Tomorrow! Especially in extreme situations, people tend to become extremely religious. This is an icon from a monastery with a nun who cures women's diseases, it will protect you. And this is a couple with her holy face. And this is a very special handkerchief that I washed in the holy water where she died. You should just touch your wound with it and everything bad will go away. Took my hands, stuck needles, injected anesthesia. And the last thought that I had before losing consciousness was I definitely don't want to be druggy <laughs> and it's amazing how it helped me to clarify a lot I mean I started to see more clearly games of the mind oh no no I can't vacuum the car carpet I mean I have a huge tumor in my belly how does it fit in there I can't wash dishes I mean it's seven centimeters oh my god poor me poor me it became so vividly clear that all our mental programs rigid habits, both inserted in deep childhood and very fresh ones, are not real, not unique, and not personal. They only pretend to be. Okay, stop. <laughs> and who is talking?